take it all the way back. Um, the reason why it was a real thing when I started hearing the rumblings in May was because of the groundwork that was laid back in October, November. Uh, Chuck Martin first approached the family about reclassification back in October, November, and the family was on board. They got their stuff over to the compliance office and, and the admissions office to see what it would take. And they got back to them and said, these are the classes, these are the credits you need to have. So Gigi took classes and credits throughout the, his senior year of high school in order to be able to graduate early. He took his visits. He goes on the visit to South Carolina and tells the, at the LSU game, he tells the administration, he tells the coaching staff, he tells everybody that he's coming. They sit across from the administration. They tell him he's coming. They ask, is Frank going to um, be fired? As the story goes, they're told that he's not. So they say, okay, we're coming to play. Um, and then a couple of weeks later, Frank's fired. So mm -hmm. they felt, as I'm told, that they were dishonest right. and all that stuff. They were hurt by it. The kid wanted to be at South Carolina. The kid put in extra work mm -hmm. to be at South Carolina, to graduate early, to be there June 1. Um, and, you know, they felt, you know, that, that they were misled. Right. So then in the wake of that, they committed to UNC. Right. Within two or three weeks of committing to UNC, there's already talk, there's already talk about um, reclassification and going back because he, he did all the work already. Principal just needed to sign something, needed to get something, a paper signed and all that. Right. Um, UNC staff asked him before they go in on Matthew Mayer, before they go in on Pete Ness, the UNC staff asked him if he wants to reclass at UNC. He tells them no. Hmm. Um, and that's when everything kind of kickstarted moving forward. The family reaches back out to the USC staff. Um, the USC staff at that point um, puts everything in place and mm. he commits after Peace Jam. Yeah. So, so he, he's at the end of the day, the kid is where the kid wanted to be. Right, right. And it sounds like if Frank Martin would have indeed been retained, it would have been just a no brainer. He would have committed. Not it was even, already, there would have been no drama at all. No, it, no, it, it, was, it was already done. He had already set a commitment date and all that type of stuff to go public and everything 